Okay, here's a quick video on Michigan. A lot of people wonder about solar panels. So it's winter time. Uh, I think today is like January 24th. Uh, you see the weather, cloudy. That's how it's been on for the last month or so. But I go out and I clean my solar panels every once in a while, just get some of the snow off. You get a majority of it off, and the rest will just melt because that metal and glass will warm up. But what I did when I put mine up, I did it all myself. I left a gap in the middle. That way you could walk down it. And I took a regular broom, but I made the handle like another two foot longer. Then I could stand in the middle and then push the snow right off the edge. So I have uh, 12 panels on this side and 12 on the other. Um, they're 250 watt panels. I make this the systems for 6,000 watts. But I made my own brackets and everything. And you just make some L brackets, stick them under the shingles and... And I just took some square stock and we just drilled holes and bolted it all up ourselves. We didn't buy all the fancy brackets and everything. You know, I got about 5,000 into my system. So, let's see here. We'll go down and take a look real quick. But a lot of people wonder, you know, you just got some shut off things and converters and stuff. You know, I got that like off eBay and then, you know, like right now it says I'm making. 205 206 watts right now i think it's uh, a little after nine o'clock in the morning um january 24th 2019 but we'll go ahead and take a look at my bills and my history real quick for you give you a better example sorry let's see here come on doggies get out of the way okay so like yesterday i went out and i cleaned my panels you can see in the morning Let's see, yesterday it started about 11 o'clock. We started making power. Not a lot, but, you know, 70, 60, 50, 70 watts. Okay, then about, oh, 2 o'clock, 2.30, I went out and cleaned my panels. You can see how much it jumped. You know, my panels are probably 75% covered. But I went from 56 watts to 886 watts. So yesterday we made 1,261 watts, or 1.2 kilowatts. So let's see here if I can do this for you. Um, history, month. So here's all my days. Let's see if I can turn a little bit so you can kind of see the numbers. You know, January 1st. I live in Cedar Springs, Michigan, north of Grand Rapids. You know, one kilowatt. Ooh, hardly even turned on that day. Four and a half kilowatts. Ten and a half. Eight and a half. Ten point three. You know? Just different days. But you can see the scale with the 12. The 12 goes across, you know, the 9. You know? I mean, so it's not like it's a lot. But it's something. So... Looks like so far this month I've made 92.44 kilowatts. Not a lot, but... Alright, a kilowatt. A lot of people don't understand them. Um, a light bulb. The old 100 watt light bulbs. If you turn that on and leave it go for 10 hours. That is... 10 hours times 100 watts equals 1000 watts or 1 kilowatt. So, we turned it on. I got my panels all finally hooked up last year. So, let's see what our... So, you know, March, 611 kilowatts. April, 800. May, 960. June, 987. July, 1100. August, 873. September 676, October 383, November 137, um, December 118. Okay, so like our average bill, you know, I think we use about 30, 25 to 30 kilowatts a day. We got six, seven of us in the house, so kids like to leave lights on. I ain't got everything switched over to LED. But, you know, there's my bill for December. So, we owe $7.23. You know, you can see my bills, how they've gone for this 2018. You know, before we had the panels, we were paying 100, 
111, 37, you know, 150. We got the panels turned on. My bills dropped right down eight, six, six, six dollar. So, I mean, I don't understand all of it, how it all works, but you know, I think you still get charged for the power, but then you get credited back. Yeah, oh yeah, it's set up so we don't understand it, but they can still get you somehow. So, you know, it just shows you. This is that net metering. Um, most people have it already. Um, I think it's at, uh, oh, them smart meters, you know. But that's how consumers does it. And, you know, that tells how much power you make. It sends it right to the house. And if you make an extra, it goes out and you get a credit. You know, during the summer, we probably bank credits. And you know, here it is in the winter time when there's less power being made. So, you know, we're using credits. So, you just got to look at your bill and see how much you're using. You know, that'll help you determine the size system you need. But you cannot make extra power to where you can make money off consumers. You can only make enough in a year to pay your bill. So, you have to look and see how much you're using a year. You know, if you're using 8000 or, uh, yeah, I don't know how it goes, really. Sorry, I can't remember all the math. But you have to see what you, t you use a year. And then, you know, you have to make your system set up for that. You cannot make, you know, you can't put up 400 panels. And, you know, okay, I'm going to make $300 a month off consumers. that don't work that way. They won't pay you because you're not a licensed thing. So you just got to set your system up for the your power that you use in the year. So... And, you know, you, we didn't pay anybody. We did it ourselves. We got about 5000 into the whole system. And, you know, it took us a couple weeks to do it on our own. Just messing around every now and then so often. So, but they're not hard, you know. Um, the hardest part is hooking up the converters and getting in uh, emergency shutoff for the fire departments and all that. Because you got to have those. Um inspectors they don't know what they're doing so if it looks good and you know everything's got to be off the roof um no wires can be touching the roof so you gotta have a ground down the pan and rails or whatever and then comes down below so everything's in conduit and it makes it look good when it comes off the thing but underneath it it can be all bare or all wires just flopping around they don't have to be in conduit underneath but so, yeah, today's 124.19, a.m. It's cloudy out. We're making 307 watts, 5%. So, all right, this is Michigan. So, I hope some people can use the info and understand if they want to do solar. But, you know, so, yeah, I'm saving roughly $100 a month. Maybe a little more. Take me four to five years and I break even after that I'm making a hundred dollars a month that's how you gotta look at it but if I paid somebody to do it you know and say it'd be fifteen thousand for them to put the system in so instead of four to five years then you have to times that by three it would be twelve to fifteen years before it got paid off so if you're gonna live there for a while but you know it also makes the value of your house go up so and that's a selling feature you know I put 5000 into it, Everybody, nobody else really knows, so they'll think it's worth 15000 so the value of the house goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody will say, oh, that ain't true, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm just trying to tell you some pointers, guys. So, all right, have a good day. Uh, if you like it, subscribe. Bye.